In this episode, we're going to introduce how we can create a video wall with network keyboard and VMS. Let's start by showing the devices that are needed. Keyboard, decoder, unicorn, and monitor for displaying. Here is the picture for a typical network topology. For demonstration purposes, in the video after, the local network default gateway will be set to 172.1.90.1. Now let's proceed with some more detailed configurations. Log into the Unicorn web interface and the software Easy VMS. Go to Basic, Device, Network Keyboard, and Encoding Channel List. Add the devices you want to display on video wall. Open up software Easy VMS and create a video wall. The monitor display is connected to the decoder, so create a DX video wall. Bind video outputs and select monitor numbers as you wish. And you may also choose the number of split screens. After the wall is created on Easy VMS software, go back to the Unicorn web interface and DX video wall list to bind the already created DX video wall. Note down the channel number and video wall number. We will use it. Now the preparation is completed and we can start operating on the keyboard. Log into the network keyboard. Select local config. and net config to set up an IP for the keyboard. Make sure the gateway matches your local network default gateway. Make sure the IP address you set up for the keyboard is not in conflict with other devices. You can skip the mask part. After setting up, click enter to save. Press Escape or System to go back to Main Menu. Go to Device Management. Manual Config. And add device to connect Unicorn with keyboard. Set up an ID and name for your Unicorn. Note down the ID or name we will use it after. Select the D-Type as VM. Select the L-Type as Network and press Enter. Input the Unicorn IP address. Keep the port value at the 60,000 and press Enter. Then press Escape. And press Enter to save. Now the Unicorn could communicate with the keyboard. Press ID and put in the ID you just set for the Unicorn. Press Enter. And Enter. Press a number key on the keyboard and press AUX4 to select a video wall. This number key is the video wall number on Unicorn web interface. Press a number key and press monitor to select a monitor connected to the corresponding video output on the decoder. Press a number key and press Windows to select a specific window in the split screen on the selected monitor. Press a number key and press CAM to bind a specific camera onto the selected window. The number key pressed here is the channel number on Unicorn web interface. During the procedure, you can press AUX5 to highlight the split screens on the video wall. Press AUX1 to bring a selected window to full screen and press AUX2 to exit full screen. Creating a DC video wall is slightly different from creating a DX video wall. It doesn't require you to have a standalone decoder device, instead it uses the built-in decoder of the Unicorn. Go to the Unicorn web interface. Likewise, go to Basic. Device. Network Keyboard This time under Decoding Channel List, you can add the corresponding Unicorn video output directly. Note down the decoding channel numbers and encoding channel numbers. We will use it later. Open up EasyVMS software. 
Create a DC video wall this time, since you are using the Unicorn itself for decoding. Now preparations are complete. We can start operating on the keyboard. Please refer to the previous part of the video to set up the IP of the keyboard and add the Unicorn onto the keyboard if you haven't set them up yet. Press ID and put in the ID you just set for the Unicorn, press Enter. Press a number key and press monitor to select a monitor connected to the corresponding video output on the Unicorn. Press a number key and press Windows to select a specific window in the split screens on the selected monitor. Press a number key and press CAM to bind a specific camera onto the selected window. The number key pressed here is the channel number on Unicorn web interface 